when you see your son out there in a Gonzaga jersey, do, do you do you have any sort of emotion about that or, or anything? Oh, oh, well, the first time I saw it, in fact, I'm kind of getting choked up right now. I mean, you know, brought tears to my eyes. Welcome back to Bulldog Madness, a Crumb 2 send off. If you followed Gonzaga basketball for a while, there was a familiar last name on this year's men's basketball roster. Will Graves is the son of Kelly Graves, who was the Gonzaga women's coach for many years before taking the same job at Oregon. We caught up with both Will and Kelly as Will carried on the family tradition at GU. This was his dream school. He always wanted to go to Gonzaga, obviously spending, you know, the majority of his life up here. Uh, this is uh, this was a dream. Will Graves grew up on Gonzaga's court. Now he's getting to play on it. I've been a Gonzaga fan my whole life, and even though I moved away, I never really like became distant with the team. And so just being back here and like being on the court instead of being in the stands is uh, something I've always wanted to do. Graves joined the Zags this fall as a walk on after playing last year for a community college. He had to prove himself before the offer, though. When he played with the guys this summer, I think he did pretty good. And and Mark just asked him if he, uh, you know, would would like to kind of walk on and and, you know, that that made his like, <laughs> you know, forever. He was really excited and uh, and so it was a no brainer. It's been awesome to be able to come here in such a good family atmosphere. And now I grew up here, so just kind of like being back with all the people I grew up with and, and then adding more brothers with the team and the amazing coaching staff. So it's all, all around, it's been great. It's also been a great experience for Kelly, both as a coach and as a parent. I admire Coach Few and his whole staff so much. I mean, they do such a great job, and you know, it, you know, the fact that they continue to win at a high, high rate is a testament to, you know, how he runs the program. And so, as a parent, I was really, really happy that uh, you know that Will came here. That coaching job, by the way, limits how much Kelly can be just a parent in the stands. But Will values every moment his dad can make it up to Spokane. Not fun. I just think they're uh, super proud of me and I know he tries to come up here as much as he can with his busy schedule which just means a lot to me and like he'll fly the day of leave the morning after which is uh, pretty awesome. It's a full circle moment for the Graves family and it's one they'll cherish forever. I love Gonzaga. I love my time here um, you know and I love everything about Spokane and, and, the, and the people here and obviously the Gonzaga fans so to see him in that uniform uh, is really pretty special and it's really special to our whole family. We're still Zags at heart, you know. I, I work for the Ducks and I love the Ducks and I am a Duck. But at the same time, you know, we'll, we'll always be Zags and Zag fans. We also caught up with another underclassman this year. Drew Timmy became a key part of Gonzaga's bench this season, but we didn't talk to him about that. We talked to him about his epic handshake repertoire. I think they just kind of happen. Uh, Sometimes it happens as accidents, and then I'm like, and then like me and the dude, whoever it is, like, you kind of like that. Like, let's keep doing that and make it our thing. So it's just kind of one of those things that happen. Me and Ryan just do like a one finger touch, like, like ET, I guess. Me and Mon do two fingers. Me and Matt do like the worm. Like, that I saw like there's like a big uh, GIF or GIF after the San Francisco game of me hitting that. That was, they miss Matt because that's what we do. We always just like that before the game. Um, me and Marty could hit the slew, the captain. That's why that's why we do that, because he's the captain. Why is he the captain? Just, he's just the captain, man. He keeps me and Ton in check. You know, he's the leader of the boat, so he's always driving us places. I got a car, but he just got his license, so I don't drive my car. It's his car now. Me and Posh just do, like, the Ranger baseball one. We fake the high five down low. Me and Will just intertwine the twos. Me and Joel do like a little three bump and then rev up to get us revved up for the game. Me and Big O do this one where like we kind of touch and then do that. Lock our arms. Hey, 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 hey. So it's just it's just fun and it's just something that we all do. Me and Tom have one, little pinky ring, slide it up, you know, just just fun. I have heard that you chest bumped a few before games. Uh, how did that begin? Uh, I don't know. I just feel like he likes the fire, and uh, he's always so like serious before the games and like high fiving really stiff. So I think it loosens him up a little bit. So I just think it's a little thing I can do, you know. <laughs> what do you think uh, his reaction was when you first did it to him? I think when he first did, he was in shock. 
but then I think I did it in uh, Bahamas at first, and I had a good game, so I was, <laughs> I was like, I'll just keep doing it then, and it just kind of stuck. So. Have you said anything to you about it? No, he kind of just lets me be me, so you know, <laughs> kind of lightens the mood in serious games too. You know, just you know, your brothers are always there. What makes you so committed to it? I love it. I think it's funny. Uh, I think it's good to. Uh, de-stress, especially on the court, because sometimes it gets a lot of high energy stuff, and I think it's just fun and relaxing, so I enjoy it too. After the break, we sit down with another key player who came off Gonzaga's bench this year, Admon Gilder. We talk about his lone year in Gonzaga uniform and look back on that season. 